Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can put heat transfers on wood. This is super easy guys. I do suggest not doing it on paint. I have tried it a couple times just to see. In the end, I will show you a project I did on a Dollar Tree charger. It worked out good. We'll explain that in a minute. So we're taking these butterflies one at a time. I cut that, you know, cut them all off. These heat transfers came from Timu. Now, you can use any iron. You don't need nothing fancy. But you don't want to go side to side, you know, like, like you're ironing clothes. Put press, lift, press, press, and lift. Okay? So don't go like you're ironing clothes because you could end up wrinkling your heat transfer. Transfer, Lord help. Transfer or it um, can move it. You know what I mean? So just lift, press. Okay, this is really easy. And like I said, this works best on non-painted. I tried it a couple times, like testing it out with paint. It does peel up a little bit. Um, if you're going with like a rustic look, it works. You know what I mean? But to me, no paint works the best. So you can make, like I'm making here some coasters. You can make some Christmas ornaments. Yep, it works really good. And then when you're lifting up your plastic, just take your time. You know what I mean? Don't rush it. This video is sped up. I took my time, okay? So as you're lifting up your plastic, if you see a little bit lifting, like a little bit of the coloring, just put it back down. Put your iron back on it, okay? You'll see that in a minute how I do it. Now here we go. See how it's kind of stuck still? So I take my iron. I'm going to put it on there for a few more seconds. And then, boom, it starts lifting again. I mean, it starts sticking better. This is such an easy project, and um, it turns out really pretty. I mean, you could, like, glue all four of these together and make you a, a picture for your wall. See, that, that one had no issues. And then once you're done with all of them, all you got to do is just seal it, and you're good to go. See, that one's sticking a little bit, so we're just going to heat it back up. And then you're good to go. Like I said, just have your patience, you know, have your patience pants on and you'll be good to go. Now, I got the, um, my wood coasters off Amazon. So, I will link those in the description box. And if the butterflies are not sold out on Timu, I will link those. If I can't find those, I will see if I can find other, like, butterfly transfer, heat transfers. There we go. Now what I'm doing is taking my torch lighter and I want a more of a rustic look to it. So we're going to burn it a little bit. Just be very careful if you do this. You know, the wood's going to get hot. That torch lighter will take some meat off. So just be careful. Like I said, this is sped up. So I'm not, I'm not this fast, y'all. <laughs> and I don't want nobody losing no skin. So if you try this, just be careful, please. Use caution. So I'm just, you know, burning the wood a little bit here and there. Trying to give it more of a rustic look. And then we just seal them and they are good to go. I'm actually giving these to somebody as a gift. Hopefully they loves them. I hope you guys enjoyed this idea and maybe give it a try yourself. I mean, think about it guys. Christmas is coming up. Make some handmade gifts, save some money, you know what I mean? If you got it, why not make it, give it out? I feel like handmade gifts are better. That's just my opinion. But this is really easy, and the, the heat transfers were cheap. I think like a dollar. So, I mean, you're not spending a whole lot of money. And if you got wood, you can cut out your own coasters. I can't remember how much the coasters are. Um, I've had them for a while, but... Like I said, I will link them. But if you got your own wood, cut you some squares and there you go. Sorry, this part right here, my puppy was getting into something he wasn't supposed to. And I was trying to get him out of it, Legos. And I didn't want him to choke. So, sorry about that. I had to rush over and get him. I promise this is the only one I'm showing you. I just wanted to, you know, really let y'all see that. And then there we go. 
And then I just take Mod Podge and I seal them. But I think I'm also going to spray them with my uh, clear sealer. Just to make sure, you know, if the, any moisture or anything, you know, extra protection there. So right now I'm just doing my Mod Podge. But I think I am going to go ahead and spray seal them as well. That way they really last them quite a while, you know. So I'm just showing you one here. And they look so pretty once the Mod Podge dries. So, so pretty. And then, like I said, I'm about to show you the um, Dollar Tree charger I did. It was a struggle, I'm not going to lie, but that was because I also used paint. Like, right here it is, okay? So now the little design you see, I put hot glue on there and then pulled it back up and ripped off some of that paint for a cute little design. The boots, that's uh, heat transfer. Now the back did bubble, but it flattened back out. And I hope you guys enjoy this, okay? Thank you so much. Bye.